today I got in the mail a sample of the Estee Lauder New Perfectionist Makeup infused with our age-defying perfectionist serum technology and I got it in the shade 3N1 Ivory Beige and I wanted to actually try my L'Oreal True Match and see how much better one is compared to the other one so this is gonna be like a compare and contrast um, since this one looks or seems to be a little bit darker than mine I'm going to try mine first and I'm going to use this product um, on my cheeks and nose and my upper this area I don't know what it's called and then I'm going to use the Estee Lauder one on my forehead and my chin um, so I'm gonna compare them and see how good it is or not good it is and if it's better than this one then when this runs out I'm probably gonna buy this one depending on how much it is I guess Okay, so I finally got the hang of, like, dumping out the right amount. Um, I still struggle here and there. And I kind of like it because, like, even if it is too much dumped out on my hand, um, I can easily scoop it back up with this. But that's kind of insanitary. Um, but hey, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. I don't want to waste products, so. I mean, it's going back on the same face. Oh, and I'm using this um, blue brush. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this is the brush that they give you in the, um, what is it, the Physician's Formula? I think it's the Physician's Formula. Um, they give this brush to you, and I really like it because the Physician's Formula is a loose mineral powder. And so, um, it, the brush is really dense and it's meant to pack on the loose powders so when you put on any kind of foundation liquid or powder it's really highly concentrated on your face it doesn't soak up the product and I really like that so you can use a lot less product and the brush was technically free it was included in the physician's formula uh, foundation which I I, I really like that foundation too. It wasn't um it wasn't a high coverage foundation, but it was like perfect for if you wanted to go to school or something. Um I would say maybe even work depending on what kind of job you have. Um But yeah. So yeah, I've realized that for this foundation it's a lot better when I use this brush because it covers a lot more. Because remember when I first did my um, review for this foundation, the True Match L'Oreal foundation. It was, um, uh, it was kind of negative because I, I, I was just kind of not, I just didn't see anything happening. Like, it looked like just my skin, which is probably not what I was trying to go for. I mean, like, some people are, like, totally off for that look. But that's kind of what I like about this product too, is that if you want something really natural, all you have to do is um, use different brushes or even your hands to apply it. And it's very uh, buildable, I would say. So if you want less coverage, you use, you, you, use, you use less. And if you want more coverage, you use more. Self-explanatory, right? But I like, the only thing I just don't like about it is like, it's full coverage on the places that it doesn't need to be full coverage. I don't know, when it comes across like my blemishes and stuff, you can still see them. It's kind of disappointing. But it's whatever. At, at, when I have those kinds of blemishes that don't go away with the first layer, 
I just like to take the leftover that's on my hand and kind of like pat it on there and it provides more coverage when you pat it on there. Sorry, I like put the thing on your face. The mirror is a little bit too far away for me to see um, and I didn't want to be too up close to you guys because I did get a comment saying that I was a little too close to the camera and I don't want to be in your guys' faces. And I'm sorry for the lighting is this way, I just have to go this way because there's nothing for my camera to be on on that side. Um, okay, so I did my cheeks and my nose and my upper lip area with my True Match. And for my Estee Lauder, and the reason why I'm doing it this way and like this way is because I have more blemishes on my forehead and chin. And I want to use the more expensive one, you know, the more high-end product on those areas. Usually I don't put any foundation on those areas. So when you open it, it comes in a little sample. And it also says come to the Estee Lauder counter for a free, uh, what is it, 10 day supply free or something like that. Um, I thought that was pretty cool, but don't listen because I, I used to be a salesperson and I'm going to let you know that nothing is ever free. They're going to make you walk out with like a bag of crap that you didn't even need in the first place. So yeah, if anything, don't go there like that. Uh, I should start on my forehead. Oh, I should have like not done my eyebrows because now I feel like I'm going to mess up my eyebrows. Whatever. Okay. Sorry, the light is like so in your guys' faces. Okay, automatically I can tell. Okay, the color is really nice. It's, it's, it's very similar to my True Match color. Um, it's a lot lighter than the way it looks on the thing. So I guess this is ivory beige. You know ivory is supposed to be like a white color, right? But I'm not very white. Well, it looks kind of like I'm white, but I'm really not. But yeah, the color is nice. Um, uh, the coverage is... Very, uh, I don't really like it. Oh, man. Um, oh, I'm kind of disappointed because, I mean, it's an Estee Lauder thing, and I'm kind of disappointed. It has a very, first of all, the finish. I don't like the finish. It's very shiny, and out of all the places that I want my face to be shiny, I'm pretty sure my forehead is not the place for it to be shiny. Um, that's like the almost the most oiliest area in my whole entire face. I don't want it to be shiny. So I'm not very happy. And I'm... Uh, I don't know. So I'm doing chin now. Let me say that again. I'm going to do my chin now. <laughs> it covers... It covers redness really well. Um... It has that smell of like a, yeah. Oh, that smell reminds me of something. Maybe it was like another foundation that I used before. But I can't put pinpoint it. It covers the redness really well. I don't know if I already said that, but it covers the redness really well. But it's definitely not a full coverage foundation. Um, like I said, I don't like that shiny finish. I don't know what those finishes are called. Like, is it like sheen? Like a sheen glowy finish? Um, my face is oily, so I don't like that. If you have a dry face, I guess you would like something like this. And if you have a dry face, I would assume that you guys wouldn't have too much breakouts. Um, but, yeah, I just I just don't have anything good to say about it it's just a foundation oh well yeah I guess it covers redness so that's that's about it I probably won't be purchasing it 
it. I'm, I'm glad that they let me try it out. But that's probably why foundation companies don't let you try it out because they don't want you to not like it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.